back again for another episode of Roofer Reflection. And I want to thank Stan. You've been involved in the the roofing industry a long time, but were there any sort of hints that, you know, this was the path you were going to go in when you were really young? No, there was no indication. It was fly by the seat of your pants. Um, I had an opportunity. I was actually at 19. I was selling roofing at the supply house. I got that job through a friend of mine who I went to grade school with. And he just told his dad, hey, yeah, Stan can sell anything. So I was the outside sales rep at 19 years old for a big supply company. Next thing I know, I'm working for one of my my customers. I quit my job and I'm next thing I know I'm roofing. And I was 20 years old. When you when you got into roofing, you were working with one of your customers, right? At the mm-hmm. through the distribution house. Right. And then I, I'm guessing at some point you decided to go off on your own. What was that about? Yeah, and it wasn't long. It was like maybe two or three months that I was working with uh, two or three of my customers and they just put me to work as a laborer and that's how I learned how to shingle. Although I did learn a lot previously because we did have to read and understand a lot of the installation requirements by the manufacturers. Um, So I did learn it in the book, but then getting on on the roof and actually doing it, I learned a lot from those guys. My business partner uh, at the time was at Oregon State University and he <clears throat> quit school. He was tired of going to architecture school and came back and that's when we formed the company and started started off on our little crusade. Was it easy? Was it hard? It was fairly easy because I lived in the same town all my life. Weren't for my mother who knew everybody in town. I ended up roofing probably half of her bridge club or her her group, her church group, whatever it was. I ended up one by one by one re-roofing their house. And funny thing is, the very first roof we really did was the people directly behind us, the Jakes family, and we roofed that in 1980. <clears throat> and then in 20, 2007, we roofed it again. So it lasted 27 years. If someone out there is looking to consider the roofing industry as sort of a career, what, what would you tell them? faith in that contractor that's where we need to have that go back to because contractors have gotten a bad name over the last couple of decades what's some of the the best advice that you've gotten from people i guess i go back to what my dad said if you're going to do it right do it right the first time because you don't have time or the money to do it a second time i've also been on the board at western states roofing contractors association for about eight or nine years now and i've learned a lot of listening to guys that have been in the business even longer than I've been and guys who have just different experiences and different uh, relationships across the country.